every day, everywhere, on every continent, and from sea to every shining sea, our impact is felt. We make the world a better place. Our story is heard in every town across America. It's the story of the far-reaching power of associations. The associations and nonprofits we lead touch the lives of people in innumerable ways. And more and more, they know it's true. Join our journey, a journey that, like all others, begins at the starting line. Lots of things have to happen at just the right time. It is an awesome undertaking to put on one of these Sprint Cup weekends. And there are associations involved all over the place. From concrete to concessions, gas to groundskeeping, sound to safety, the people behind special events look to their associations to get them up to speed. Security is in place, concessions are ready to serve our guests. We credential in the neighborhood of 4,000 people and they're ready to begin putting on this show. We're concerned about driver safety on the world's fastest one mile oval, as well as all of our guests up there in those grandstands. And we pride ourselves and being the best in the business here at the Monster Mile. Mile by mile, town by town, we are able to reach individuals along every stop on their own life journeys. I am the first person in my immediate family to go to college, so it wasn't just a journey about myself, it's um, kind of incorporated my whole family. My whole um, high school was rooting for Ohio State all my four years, so that's all I heard, Ohio State, Ohio State, no Michigan. Um, so I just jumped on the bandwagon and have left all four years. Educators and administrators bring opportunity to new generations. My dad always says that he wish he could have gone to college to have the opportunities that I have now, and I can definitely see his point. Our associations bring them standards, scholarships, and financial support. It's a relationship that opens doors for everyone. In the future, um, I think I will be able to say I am ready to bring anything and everything to the table. Every night, we dream of new ways to reach people, new means of providing help, heading for new horizons every day. We're in Dry Ridge, Kentucky. I got involved with hippotherapy about 15 years ago. I decided to start my own program, and so we've been here ever since. There are therapeutic horseback riding programs throughout the country and internationally. Therapeutic riding is one aspect of it. There's hippotherapy, there's veterans programs out there right now, so there's a lot of different aspects of it. Okay. Are you finished brushing your horse? Let's come and get your reins, and I'm gonna have you put your reins on your horse. Come with me. Healthcare professionals of every breed from the most traditional to the most progressive, see the benefits of working as a team. Good. Give me five that time. All right, start your horse. Very nice, good job. I just think if you have a larger group, if everybody does their part and we all work together, then we can benefit from the knowledge that everybody else has. Miss Paula always tells them they're not, not supposed to have fun, they're just here to work, 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 but they don't realize they're getting any therapeutic value. They just think they're having a good time playing games and riding the horses. Innovation, expertise, perspective. Associations keep our cities humming, and that's by design. The architecture of a city is a thread that holds it together. People are the ingredients. The manipulation of the pieces in that puzzle make a city a fun place or a boring place. Good architecture is a reason the city exists in many instances. And good architecture must reflect the broad diversity of our culture. Associations ensure that a range of voices continues to be heard. I joined an association because it gave me an opportunity as a very young man to understand architecture, to understand the profession. When you joined as a student, you had an opportunity to interact with these giants in the city. When you go into a place that you've designed anonymously and see people enjoying themselves, that is one of the highest, I think, callings that one can have. Along the journey, people's passion is on constant display for medicine, for business, for art. We have the opportunity to support their passion. 
whether they're the makers of music or simply have a song to play. St. Blues was created back in the 80s to design a line of guitars for Memphis. We do high-end boutique guitars and it's done on site by hand and we're very proud to say that all the uh, materials used are USA manufactured. The National Association for Music Merchants provides uh, trade shows, let's say, in uh, Anaheim, California, Nashville, Tennessee, in which allows all music manufacturers to put their products out there for dealers to see, and uh, they also open it to the public, so we um, have an avenue to some people that we would have never had the avenue to. When we go um, different venues and we see our product up on stage and people loving it, um, we're so small, you know, we're just like a family. We just get so excited. We just know we're, we're just getting closer and closer to letting the world know we're here. Hey! You need to get one. <laughs> Every day, we live with and use things. But things break down, and our lives hinge on the ability to reach the right person to fix them at the right time. It's all about keeping this country running. Things usually happen at the worst time. A leak in the ceiling, right before a party, or things like that. The associations we lead train our nation's workforce, fulfilling functions that would otherwise tax the resources of government. Good to see you again. What seems to be the problem? When I can rely on them to show up at a certain time and they always finish in a timely manner, it allows me to get back to my life and to my family. Consistency, quality, technology. It all comes with certification, our industry's seal of approval. You need to be able to call someone you can trust. It means everything. I've worked in factories and punch time clocks and it never really did suit me. I've been a driver for 28 years and uh, it's a, an experience. Every day is a different experience. Professional experience can be passed on from our members to their communities. It's a powerful way to reach out and deliver. I'm on a road team, what they call America's Road Team, which is an outreach program. And what we do as professional drivers, we go out and try to teach the motoring public about highway safety, how important it is about our blind spots, how important it is to buckle up, seat belts. Everything we have used today has been on a truck at one time or another. I told the president of our company one time, I said, your office is bigger than mine, but mine's got a better view. So, and, 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 and it's true because I, I get to see so many different things, you know, from the Rocky Mountains in Colorado to the deserts in Arizona. I mean, it's, it's, we have a beautiful country and I enjoy traveling all over. look beyond our buildings and boardrooms, we'll see the men and women and children who are personally affected by what we do. And as people everywhere seek to go farther, think bigger, achieve more, every day our work can and will power that climb. This journey will continue.